Imagine being able to earn money by playing Mario Kart, that indefatigable Nintendo spin-off series from the pre-internet Super Mario. You wouldn't have to be all that good at it. You wouldn't have to play it 24-7. Because in this mind experiment, you get to be Mario for as long as you like. You get to be him because you own him. Because your Mario is an NFT, he's impossible to duplicate. You and you alone own him. And because you own Mario, your go-kart is always better and faster than the ones piloted by other familiar faces in the Mushroom Kingdom, like Luigi, Toad, and Princess Peach. So off you go, earning the kingdom's digital money. Mario coins, let's call them. Given market economics, you might have to pay more for NFT Mario than for, say, NFT Peach. But then you'd also earn more. Because here in the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario is the fastest player. When you step out of the game and back into your day job, you still own Mario. When you start playing again, Mario is there, waiting for you waiting to earn you Mario coins. You can sell Mario to another player if you like. If you've played Mario right, he might be worth more now than when you bought him. Maybe you've demonstrated how lucrative Mario can be. Maybe more people want to play Mario Kart. Maybe Mario coin has soared in value because everybody is talking about it on social media. This, in a large nutshell, is what GameFi evangelists are trying to build.